the transfer of data of employees, former employees or third party is per se illicit. <laughs> So Douglas, last time you came into the studios you were discussing employee information security. So what have been the court findings since your last visit? So for the first time there was a cantonal uh, court of appeal uh, just before Christmas that rendered two decisions confirming the first instance decisions, the transmission of the data regarding the employees or former employees or third parties is illicit so the banks are uh, ordered not to transfer the data. And that's a big move. Uh, the banks did not recourse to the Supreme Court, the Federal, uh, the tri Tribunal Federal, Federal Tribunal. So as of today, we have two decisions rendered by two, uh, one uh, cantonal court of appeal uh, that are final, deciding that it is illicit. Hopefully, uh, one of these days we'll have other decisions somewhere else in Switzerland with a bank who would appeal up to the Supreme Court. But as of today, that's what the situation is. And it's very encouraging because all the other decisions in first instance in all other uh, cantons are all rendered in favor of the employee, former employees or third party. So we are pretty confident that even if one of the bank go to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court will likely confirm that the transfer of data is illicit and that's of course very important for many uh, former employees or third parties. Absolutely, so you mentioned the decision as being illicit. Could you go a little bit further into the results and also the implications that it will have? Uh, all the decisions so far uh, keep uh, balancing the interest, the interest of the bank uh, to uh, cooperate with the US uh, as they have to and the interest of the former employee or third party to keep the data uh, in Switzerland and not transfer the data to a criminal authority in the US which is the DOJ uh, and in particular the latest uh, press releases from the DOJ uh, just before Christmas and after Christmas uh, said that uh, the program is finished and now that uh, the US collected a billion three uh, in fines for, for the banks, uh, they will not prosecute everyone who assisted uh, the former US client, so including the employees and third parties. So on one side you have these statements, official statements repeated saying that we are not going to prosecute everyone and on the other side of course the courts, the civil courts uh, said that the interest of the employee or third party prevails on the interest of the banks to cooperate because there is a specific risk that if the data is transferred uh, it could uh, trigger some very difficult situation for the former employees and for the third parties, uh, possibly a prosecution in the US. Absolutely. So when can we expect these to be implemented and when can we expect there to be a final conclusion with in regards to the fines that have been charged? Uh, the fine, is, it's something else. Uh, the fine uh, regards the banks who paid uh, the, the different fines. As far as the transfer of data regarding the employees or third parties, it is now final for at least two cases uh, because uh, the two banks involved in these cases did not recourse to the uh, Supreme Court against the uh, Court of Appeal in Geneva. So the situation as of today is that regarding these two specific cases, uh, it is final. So now there's a, ma a matter of indemnity or what kind of uh, compensation you could get. But as far as the principle of whether or not these data regarding these two employees or former employees, it is final and enforceable. They will not have their data being transferred to the US. So it's a very big move uh, that we had. Uh, of course, we would all have liked to have the Supreme Court to have uh, its word, the final word, but since the two banks involved did not recourse to the uh, federal court, then uh, it is the final decision that is up to date. Uh, the first one is in Geneva. Uh, what we can say is that unfortunately all these decisions, including the two from the Court of Appeal of Geneva, 
keep uh, balancing the interest between the interest of the bank to cooperate and the interest of the uh, former employee or, or third party not to have its data being sent. But there's a much faster and quicker route legally uh, is to say that the transfer of data of employees, former employees or third party is per se illicit if it's not done within a mutual assistance uh, treaty or, or cooperation. Uh, the FINMA said it in writing. The uh, Federal Office of Justice Swiss uh, said it in writing twice. Uh, Edwin, uh, Evelyn Wiedmerschlumpf, the former member of the government, said it officially before the parliament. We need to have a specific legal basis, a specific law, to allow the transfer of data outside of the regulation regarding the uh, international assistance in administrative or criminal matters. So that's it. You don't have to balance anything anymore. So if it is illicit, it is illicit no matter what the interest is, it is illicit. So I am a little bit frustrating, frustrated uh, that the Supreme Court will not have its way, its word to say uh, because I would wish, really, that at, when the, the Supreme Court will have to say uh, that it is illicit per se and stop with this balance of interest. In any case, all the decisions rendered so far, uh, it's more than 25 in Switzerland, they were all in favor of the interests of the uh, former employee or third parties. So let's stop of this balance of interest and let's just say once for all and that would apply for everyone and not only for this specific case when you balance the interest that per se the transmission of data is illicit. Hopefully one of these days one of these can cantonal court or the Supreme Court will say it and then we will be satisfied. Absolutely. Well, it already seems like a very significant move, so hopefully things will progress further from here. Yeah. Well, Douglas, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing your insights with us. Okay, thank you very much. Well, that's all from us, but for all the latest Jukoscopy updates and exclusive interviews, do keep clicking back to Jukoscopy TV. Goodbye for now.